Hey everybody, I'm Paul Gross. Let's get you updated on the forecast and we have a spectacular day ahead with plenty of sunshine, light wind. Uh, I may see a little patch of partly cloudy sky uh, come in during the late afternoon, early evening hours, but it's not going to rain. It's just going to be uh, a partly cloudy sky. Then we get back to clear skies overnight and we'll start with lots of sunshine for your Sunday and we'll see a bit more in the way of cloud cover Sunday afternoon, but still some sunshine. So overall this weekend's looking really good. We're keeping the humidity low. The wind is going to be light. Uh, doesn't get a whole lot better. Now, if you're heading up north, uh, looking like a good couple, three days uh, go, coming up here. We'll have lots of sunshine this afternoon. If you're getting up there, looks like mid 70s in most areas, 71 over at Mackinac. And then as we head into tomorrow morning, plenty of sunshine. Now, a weak cold front approaches up north tomorrow. Could be a scattered shower or thunderstorm late afternoon, early evening, but you can see there's a lot of space in between those. So some of us up north are actually going to enjoy a dry day on Sunday. And then that front moves through. We get back to some sunshine Monday morning, and we should stick with that into Monday afternoon. So overall, the next uh, three days, today, tomorrow, and Monday, looking pretty good up north. And for us down here, looking pretty good as well. Lots of sunshine with some of those high clouds around. Looks like 80, 82 degrees or so for the high with light wind. And as I mentioned, very comfortable humidity. On the seven day forecast, we already talked about Sunday. Temperatures just a bit warmer, low to mid 80s. And then we start creeping up the humidity Monday into Tuesday. Monday night into very early Tuesday during the overnight hours could see a batch of strong storms. Not sure if it's going to be northern Indiana, Ohio or us, but somewhere in that area. So we'll have to watch that for you. And then we start losing the humidity after Tuesday, maybe a stray shower Wednesday. Now a temporary cool down into the upper 70s for highs, and then we heat back up as we head into next weekend. And by the way, a lot of you still concerned about those lake levels. Quick update on that. Now this is compared to the August record. Okay, we're talking about the August records still above the August record highs for lake levels in Lake St. Clair and Lake Erie, just a hair below for Lake Huron. But here's the best news. The forecast for the next 30 days is for a continuation of these levels to start dropping. So it's a slow process, but we're going to slowly see these levels start to come down as we move through the month into next month.